Watch this video to find out how seniors can get $1,200 stimulus checks through Social Security and SSDI. This financial assistance is there to help seniors in tough circumstances, but many of them may not know they are eligible. Find out if you qualify for the stimulus funds and what steps to take to get them. This money can really assist with everyday expenses, therefore it's crucial to understand the requirements. Additionally, we will go over the steps to apply and what to anticipate once you have submitted your information, should that be required. For seniors who have children living on their own, there is an additional $500 up for grabs on top of the $1,200. Families can benefit much from this additional assistance, so it's important to be aware of it. We will explain everything in simple terms so that you may understand and make use of these benefits. In the event that you or a loved one may qualify, if you want to know how to get your money faster and with less hassle, you should watch to the very end. In order to help elders enhance their financial security and ensure they receive the aid they need, this knowledge is vital. Keep in mind that this update is crucial. Is this the beginning of some great financial news for you? Potential recipients of the $1,200 stimulus payments and the additional $500 payment are those who are qualified for Social Security or SSDI. The details will be explained in this video. Walk you through the process of determining your eligibility and obtaining these funds. Be sure you don't lose out on this crucial data that can improve your financial situation and standard of living. Especially in these trying economic times, the federal government of the United States has made enormous measures in recent years to alleviate Americans' financial hardship. There have been multiple stimulus checks that have helped families, employees, and the elderly. Stay tuned as we go into the ins and outs of these checks, identifying who is eligible, and providing guidance on how to claim your rightful monies if you are a senior or know someone who is. In the wake of the COVID-19 epidemic, when a large number of Americans were unemployed and worried about their financial future, the idea of stimulus checks rose to popularity. A variety of stimulus programs were launched by the government to assist individuals in meeting their fundamental necessities, such as housing, food, and medical expenses. March. 2020 saw the introduction of the first stimulus checks under the CARES Act. Those hit hardest by economic downturns have been the recipients of multiple waves of aid since then. The principal objective of these checks is to stimulate the economy by releasing funds. The goal of the government stimulus program is to stop the economy from going into a deeper slump by increasing consumer spending. Because many seniors are living on fixed incomes and are confronting increasing health care and living expense bills, this is of the utmost importance to them. In most cases, a person's age, filing status, and income determine whether they are eligible to receive stimulus payments. On average, seniors are eligible for the entire amount if their annual income is below $75,000 or $150,000 for married couples. Your check amount can go down if your income goes over certain limits. To be eligible for a tax refund, you need to file your taxes as either an individual, a married couple filing jointly, or the head of household. Claimants who did not file may be required to take extra measures. People over the age of 65 are typically given priority during times of economic crisis because of the greater vulnerability they experience. You are most likely eligible for these benefits if you receive Social Security or SSDI. With the foundations laid, let's explore the $1,200 stimulus check in more detail. Seniors must fulfill certain requirements in order to be eligible for the $1,200 check, as previously stated. It is common for single filers to have an income cap of $75,000 in order to be eligible for the entire amount. There is a progressive reduction in payout for those making between $75,000 and $99,000. Additional payments of $500 are given to individuals with dependents for each kid under the age of 17. Nevertheless, the elderly are not entitled for this additional sum for dependents unless they are caring for qualifying children. The majority of seniors will not have to do anything special to get their checks. Your refund should have been sent to your bank account through direct deposit if you have already submitted your taxes and given the IRS your banking information. You might have to fill out a simplified tax return in order to get your money back if you haven't already. Important dates should be kept in mind as the internal. Revenue Service IRS typically establishes distinct due dates for tax returns and the disbursement of funds. We can talk about the extra $500 for seniors now that we've covered Social Security and SSDI. Those elderly who may be facing financial difficulties will receive this payment. The main source of income for many seniors is Social Security or SSDI. They are hoping that the extra money will help them out a bit financially you need to be getting Social Security or SSDI benefits to be eligible for this additional payment. Important criteria include receiving Social Security or SSDI benefits at the present time, being at least 65 years old, and having an income that meets the level. 
There should be no more steps required to qualify for the extra $500 if you fulfill these requirements. Those who have already given the Social Security Administration their bank details will most likely get the extra $500 in the same way they got the $1,200 stimulus checks via direct deposit. Payments can be sent by mail. Verify your Social Security benefits online or get in touch with your neighborhood office if you have any doubts about getting the extra cash. The economy as a whole and the lives of seniors are both affected by these payments. Every cent matters to a lot of seniors. Rising healthcare housing and essential. Living expenditure bills might put a strain on household budgets. In order to pay bills, buy groceries, and purchase prescriptions, the additional $500 on top of the $1,200 stimulus check can be a lifesaver. Local economies benefit since seniors will typically spend these money promptly upon receiving them. The purchasing power of the elderly has a multiplicative influence on businesses since they spend on necessities. Think of incorporating testimonies or anecdotes from seniors who were beneficiaries of previous stimulus packages. A senior may talk about how the money went towards paying off debt or covering unanticipated medical bills. Sharing. Anecdotes can make these financial assistance more relatable and important to the audience. It is critical to adhere to certain procedures in order to guarantee the smooth receipt of your money. Determine if you are eligible is the initial step. Make sure you're receiving Social Security or Supplemental Security Income SSDI and check the income requirements. Notify the Social Security Administration of any changes to your information, such as a recent move, a change in bank accounts, or a lack of tax filing in the previous several years. If you want to get your money, you have to keep your records up to date. The most common and safest method of receiving money is through direct deposit. Think about giving the IRS and SSA your banking information if you have one. Make sure your address is correct and current if you would rather get a check in the mail. First, let's go over the basics of these payments and answer any questions that seniors might have. Even if you haven't submitted your taxes in a while, you might still be able to receive the money. To make sure elderly can get their checks, the IRS has made filing easier for them. Notification of payment is often sent by the IRS. By entering your details on the IRS website, you may also monitor the status of your payment. Verify your eligibility first if you haven't received your money. For help determining your eligibility, get in touch with the Internal Revenue Service or the Social Security Administration office in your area. The fact that you get these payments as economic assistance means that they will not be counted as income by Social Security or SSDI. In conclusion, there is a great chance for seniors receiving Social Security and SSDI to receive stimulus checks for $1,200 and an extra $500. Make sure you know what you need to qualify, how to get your money, and what these funds mean in the big picture. If you want to improve your financial status, you need stay aware and take proactive steps to get the rewards mentioned in this video. I appreciate you taking the time to listen, and if you want to hear more about how the government is helping seniors financially, be sure to subscribe. Keep in mind that these stimulus payments aren't a one-and-done deal, rather. They represent a rising awareness of the special difficulties faced by the elderly. Many seniors rely on fixed incomes, which could make it difficult for them to deal with unforeseen costs. For example, even the most meticulously planned budgets can be strained by unexpectedly high medical costs caused by health emergencies. The government's decision to provide stimulus payments shows that it recognizes the importance of continuing assistance for seniors, who are disproportionately affected by economic downturns. In addition, the $500 payment and $1,200 stimulus check are designed to help people who really need it, according to the criteria. The inclusion of Social Security recipients in SSDI shows that the specific needs of this demographic have been considered. Basic living expenditures are frequently unmet by many seniors on Social Security. Income. Consequently, supplemental payments might offer the essential safety net to assist with expenses such as rent, utilities, and prescriptions. Additional support is available through community resources and organizations which seniors can explore using. Services designed with seniors in mind are available from a variety of local NGOs and government organizations. Services such as transportation, food banks, and financial counseling may be available. The seniors can make better use of their stimulus funds by making use of these resources which will allow them to stretch their budgets farther. The significance of future planning is another crucial factor to think about. While the stimulus check short-term assistance is critical, seniors should also plan for their financial security in the future. You may rest easy when you make a budget that covers all of your necessary costs as well as any unexpected ones. Expert financial planners for the elderly are a great resource for many elders. Experts in this field can provide seniors with personalized recommendations for better money management, empowering them to take calculated risks in pursuit of their financial objectives.